Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions, bringing you another Tech Tip Tuesday. I am working in Chief Architect Premier version X14. I want to show you how to make cabinets that uh, look like this. And specifically the wall cabinets up here um, that have open shelves all the way through. Little few little tricks. Let's get started. All right, so I've got the um, pantry here and I've started off with a cabinet, uh, wall cabinet that I've set at the height and width and put uh, deleted the front so that it just shows the shelving, painted the interior so that it shows all white. And um, I'm gonna copy this cabinet and put it around the corner here. When I do that, I'm going to take a camera view and you'll notice that um, it's not open back here uh, so that I can see open shelves all the way through. And I really kind of want to see that um, around the corner, both directions. Quickly, I could, um, I could fudge it and do it like this so that it kind of looks like that, but I still have this, this opening here. Um, I'm just going to undo that a couple times. Uh, and let's get onto this. I'm going to open up this cabinet on the right, and I'm going to click on front sides back and choose my left and set that as a custom face. I'm going to delete this blank area and delete that blank area. So now I've got, you can see it's open here on the left. I am actually want this app to uh, do the same thing on the right. So we're going to do custom face again, delete and delete. Let's just see what that does here. Now I'm going to switch to um, vector view camera here. It's easier to see sometimes. Um, you'll notice if I go to delete a surface, this cabinet on the left hand side has got uh, an automatic blind situation set up. So I'm going to go into my default settings up here. Now some of these, not default sets, uh, default, there we go, cabinets, general cabinet. Some of these issues uh, some of these things are, are new things that I can do in cabinetry in X14. Um, I believe in past versions you can turn off, pretty sure you can turn off automatic blind corners. And now we can see all the way through. But as you can see, I still have a gap between shelving here. So I'm going to go back into this cabinet and go back into the left side and on the left side I'm going to spin around here I'm going to remove make a zero left style make all these zeros here now you'll notice that my style still on the front face of it still extends past that um, that box. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. Okay. So I still have a gap. Now I'm going to select this cabinet on the left and change that right style zero. So we just have the back here, that right hand side. I'm going to jump in here real quick and make a make an edit to what I recorded earlier. On this right hand cabinet, uh, if I open this up and go to front sides back and click on left, um, it actually does better instead of custom face and deleting the faces do none and what that does is that means that 
let's uh, go back to custom face and delete all of these. Uh, delete, delete, delete. I still have this face right here before for three quarters of an inch thick before I get to the shelves. If I click on none, the, the face is gone, the, um, and the shelves go all the way to the end of the cabinet. So select the side and just click on none. And that way in plan view, uh, I really only need to be three quarters of an inch wider. Uh, the box needs to be three quarters of an inch wider to take care of this face here that's, that's in this corner. Um, so I can actually do uh, minus 1.5, whoops, 1.5. And let's switch to vector view. And you can see how now the shelves line up right there. This style goes into the face a little bit, but that's okay. Probably in the field they would build that anyway, like set like that, because um, you know this this shelf needs to to rest on on this style anyway. So that's a quick uh, quick edit uh, tip on this. On this Tech Tip Tuesday, I'm just going to make the length of this. I'm going to add three quarters of an inch to both ends, left each side. So add one and a half inches to that. Now it's not going to allow me to because it's butted up against cabinet to cabinet. It's limited there. So I'm going to. Um, I was going to say I could turn off bumping and pushing, but I'm not sure where that. Went is that F11. Yeah, F11. Um, I used to have a have a toolbar up here for bumping and pushing. Anyway, um, let's see if that does it. No, it still doesn't do it. All right, I'm going to just bring it out of here. So I'm using my control key on my uh, keyboard. If you're on a uh, Mac, you use the command key. And now I'll adjust this, add the extra inch and a half. I'm going to point to point move into here and center it on the room. And now, so that take, took care of the inch and a half for the cabinet on the right. Now I need to take care of the inch and a half for the face of this cabinet on the left. Uh, let's do this way. So plus another inch and a half. And now you can see standard view other than this little piece right up here of this face dropping down the shelving looks perfect let's flip this around to the other side and we'll remove the style on the left hand side of this cabinet There's that. All right. Open up once again quickly these steps. Open up the side, the, this uh, cabinet here. I change the left and right faces uh, to delete the delete the face first of all as a custom face, and set the left style, set all of these side properties at zero, both left and right sides. Then I made the width of it an extra three inches um, so that it would take up the three quarters of an inch for the fate the left face of the of this cabinet 
and then the um, face of the adjoining cabinet as well. Three inches because um, I'm I'm doing both sides of it. You'd only be at an inch and a half if you're doing one one corner. Here I've got two corners. Um, if you really 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 want to get into this, I think we'd have to do maybe. Um, you might have to split a face on this. I'm not sure how you do that without. Um, if we split vertical, how you delete this vertical opening separation. Oh, you can delete it right there and just make that opening say, uh, 15 and I don't think we can no I don't think I can change that top face on a opening basis just the left and right um, you can change that this face globally on the box here it would depend on on exactly how you want this drawn i think i want a face on the edge so that's what i'm how i'm drawing it i'm just going to cancel this and leave this alone all right uh there's a little bit of cabinetry um, tips for showing shelves using using the cabinets. You, if you want the back of this taken off, we could take the back of it off. Front side's back, let's go to back and custom. So that it truly is just a um, it's not even a cabinet. For this end one, I'd have to take off the right side and left side and back. You're just showing the shelves being built there. But in this case, I think I want the I want the box kind of shown for the stability of it without the uh, without having to do the braces. All right. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this information, please click like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get notified each week as I drop these videos. Otherwise, take care. Have a wonderful week.